Hello, people, and welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, when I last left you all, uh, it turns out that uh, I needed to restart my game in order to get the proper new PDA data. Uh, thing to show up. This is the door that I was going to uh, try and repair and all that that didn't want me to. And this is the Seamoth Depth Module Mark 1. With this, we can take our Seamoth down into that big creepy purple cave and actually get some shit done. So with this, uh, I'd say we're pretty good to go down to that purple cave, scan everything we need, get all the data from down there, and then uh, head back up. So let's go do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think this will be the last recording I do this session. Simply because it takes so long to upload these episodes. And I still have to come back once we find the code to the captain's cabin and cabin number three. so that we can get all of the sweet decorative items out of here. Because in a game like Subnautica, you require the decorative items. Though, what I don't understand is... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Please, okay. God. Whew. Yeah. There. Much better. Actually, you know, I don't know why we're bothering to walk all the way down. <gasps> Fling! Me! Now let's just hope the Reaper Leviathan isn't waiting to murder us as soon as we leave the wreckage. Oh no, did I leave the lights on? Let's hope my battery is. Well, that's less than ideal, but thankfully we did get a power cell while we were out here, so... Apples and oranges, I suppose. <sighs> Let's go to that cave's... Actually, wait, hold on. Ow! Fuck. That hurt. There. Much better. Now, my Seamoth has a much deeper range, and it also has access to a storage compartment. Now we can head over to Light Pod 17, go down that hole into the Jelly Shroom biome, uh, get our brain that we want to take back up to the surface with us, and basically start building a house. Of course, I think I'll probably end this recording session before we start building a house. Simply because of the amount of time it takes to make sure you've covered everything down there in the Degasi Sea Base. Now, I won't have to wear this radiation suit for much longer. In a few days, the radiation should disperse according to the... Um, computer lady who keeps talking to us through our he headset. Why a space headset is waterproof is beyond me, but... Ooh! A counter! Oh no, we've already scanned that. Never mind. Continue heading to the wreckage! You know, there has been some argument among the Subnautica fan base here. Now, this alert the um, end of the video, so just uh, spoilers rather for the end of the game. 
So maybe, I don't know, mute your audio for this or something if you just want to watch me play. But there are these creatures called the Warpers that were developed by the aliens here on their world. And these Warpers uh, were for the purposes of containing and destroying creatures infected with the Karar bacteria. Well, the issue here is that there was no cure for the Karar bacterium and the aliens sort of died before they could have any real answer to what happens if another civilization gets a little too close to this planet. And, well, apparently we're the result of another civilization getting a little too close to the planet. Oh no, we're being chased by a crab squid. Okay. No, no, never mind. No crab squids. No, wait, did I just say crab squid? Sorry, crab snake. Crab snake. That's what they are, crab snakes. Yeah, and you see, now that our seamoth can go deep enough, we have no trouble navigating around down here. Matter of fact, if we had that geothermal generator upgrade on this baby, we could technically remain down here indefinitely. Although it would be very difficult to make a substantial amount of power given the fact that uh, it's not actually very hot down here. Though we could supplement that with a bioreactor. I think it's this way. Four subterranean biomes. I believe somewhere this connects up to another one. Oh, listen to that eerie singing. It's like... Ah! Here we are! Found it! There. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. Let's start scanning things. Nuclear reactor... Power cell charger. This is the stuff related to energy we had to focus on here. Modification station fragment. Okay. Let's see here, I'm sure. Oh, spotlight. Observatory. Acquired. Oh shit, crab snake. And low on oxygen, of course. <sighs> okay, and then there's a piece of the modification station. Or stasis rifle, that's something I need. A wall planter. A multi-purpose room. New blueprint acquired. This is what part of what I needed. New blueprint acquired. Thermal plant fragment. Hmm. Apparently, the people down here were undecided as to what they were going to use to power this thing. One of them was working on a nuclear reactor. Acquired. The others working on a thermal plant for geothermal power. And or hydro. Ah, stasis rifle fragments. Oh good, now I can make the stasis rifle. Oh no. 
Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <sighs> Swear. Stressful. Suffocation does that to you, you know. Oh, no, that's a thermal plant fragment. Yeah, so, I can make the, uh... Ooh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Drooping stingers. Hmm. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yeah, Integrating yeah. new PDA data. Before I go further into the into this dark abyss, I should probably be at full oxygen. I'd be interested to know what the hell attacked these people here. Integrating new PDA data. Double bed, come on, scan, scan, scan. I gotta get back over Integrating there. New PDA data. Okay, I think that's everything. New blueprint. 30 seconds. Ow, painful. There. Whew. Always stressful going into those buildings underwater. Slamming my sea moth into shit. Okay. Now, power cell charger fragments. I haven't seen those anywhere else, so... There may be another one around here and I'm just not noticing it, or... What? I am not sure. <sighs> I wish they would have given it to us. They gave... It's the ability to, uh, you know, have some other nice stuff. Maybe I should go ahead and repair this before I start heading off into the great unknown. Yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, then. Yeah, let's see if we can get back up to the surface before this episode needs to come to an end in two minutes. And when we do that... Uh, well, if we can manage to do that. If not, I guess I'll just record over the normal limit I set. Sorry, Mr. Crab Squid. No, you don't like us. Yeah, you see, the crab squids are kind. Uh, did I say crab? Crab snakes. God damn it. The crab snakes are big, but they're not so big that uh, they actually pose a threat to the sea moth. Their mouth parts are more a threat to you when you're just swimming around, you know. When it actually is you and a sea moth, they're not very, um, enthused about the idea of attacking. I mean, they will go after you, but, you know, it's not like they have any real threatening abilities. Unlike the Reaper Leviathan, which is very much a threat. And it looks like we managed to make it out of the cave alive. But then the episode. 
So, I suppose the next episode, what we will be doing is making a new house for ourselves in the ocean. And possibly exploring some wreckages so that we can get all the necessary equipment together to be able to survive in this hellscape. Yeah, what the hell, I'll give you some extra content, um, right up until the moment I get to the, uh, <sighs> life pod. So, and we're almost home in five, four, three, two, baba booey, baba booey, goodbye.